Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, going to get into um, today's show. Um, AJ gets a, a UD uh, win 12 <clears throat> over Jermaine Franklin. Lots of thoughts, lots of Monday morning quarterbacking on all of this. Um, we'll let you know what we think, uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media, quick hits, coming at you every day, twice, and keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, uh, oh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, all right, uh, so... Let's get into AJ's performance. Uh, it was a long day of boxing today, guys. I had a long, long day of, of, of boxing. Boxing on since like noon Texas time, I think, all the way till 12 30. It's 12 and a half hours of boxing today, <laughs> straight. I haven't got to uh, do anything, any content. Um, but before we do, uh, before we get into all that, um, AJ's performance, his first uh, fight um, with the new trainer, Derek James. Texas guy, I, I didn't love the idea of, of, of taking a. And I said you can go back and, and listen to the other show from a day or two ago, whenever it was. I said that this is going to be a tough fight for AJ. It wasn't an easy fight, it wasn't a tune-up fight, and it proved to be the case. Jermaine Franklin's a real guy. He's a dog in there. He's skilled. Um, you know, he's just not an elite guy. He's not you know a top 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 guy, but he's a good fighter, and he he showed that today, and he gave AJ a test, and, and AJ passed the test. You know, AJ won. You know, and, and he actually won wider than I, I probably would have thought. I said, he, you know, he's either going to get a knockout in a close fight or he's going to win a close decision. He won a wide decision. You know, I had a 118, 110. I had a 10 rounds to two, although it was maybe get a little closer than that. Um, look, the performance from AJ was a professional performance. It's not a bad performance. Everyone's saying it's a bad – no, he controlled him with the jab. He won He won on the inside. Like, he, he, he did fine. What he didn't do is anything spectacular. And, and, like, this is kind of the problem with AJ. When AJ uh, was given the gold medal, I'm not going to say won the gold medal because that's not even fair, right? Um, so uh, when, when Anthony Joshua w was gifted the gold medal, um, he came in and, and, you know, he was on fire. You know, they, they were talking about him like he was going to be a top 10 heavyweight of all time. You know, he was something more special. Um. And it turns out he's just a pretty good heavyweight. He's a good he's a good heavyweight. He's a good heavyweight. That's that's all he is. You know, something happened to him in that Andy Ruiz fight. It's just not the same. The, the, you know, he he looked to be back uh, in the Pula fight. In, in, in the Pula fight, he, he looked to okay. That's the Joshua we know. He dominated Pula and then I mean knocked him out in spectacular fashion. But you know, you go back to the first Andy Ruiz fight, and, and that was four years ago already, almost four years ago. Uh, that was June of 2019. Then he, he fought at the end of 2019, December of 2019, um, against Andy Ruiz. And he outboxed him, and he won wide, but he fought completely different, right? Like, it wasn't what we were used to. He was, you know, he had slimmed down. He had boxed me outside. He, like, he didn't want to get engaged. Then he came back a year later against Pulev, and... Uh, he, he he took care of business in the pool of fight. You know, uh, he, was, he knocked him down and then destroyed him, you know, in spectacular fashion in the ninth. Um, and then he came out, got beat up by Usyk, and got beat up by Usyk again, right? And it was this never the same guy. Now, did we overestimate? Did, did we overrate Anthony Joshua to start with? Probably a little, but I don't think that's it because he's changed so much as a fighter. I, I think Ruiz did something to him. I, I really do. And then he had the Franklin fight. You know, guys only really fight once a year now, right? Like, you go back, Joshua, since the pandemic, fought once in 20, 
21, 22, and 23. Guys, just fight once a year now. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll fight again this year. Um, look, if, if he Jared Anderson would beat Anthony Joshua pretty easy right now, right? I I don't think that's a hot take. Uh, he, he's faster, he hits harder, he's more skilled. Joshua's not a bad heavyweight, right? What he is is the fourth best heavyweight of his era. Now, it's a pretty good era, but he's not better than Fury, he's not better than Usyk, and he's not better than Wilder, right? And, you know, he's got a good resume. He does, right? We, you know, it's not a great resume, but it's a good resume. He's got a win over Ruiz. He's got a win over Povetkin. He's got a win over Parker. He's got a win over Klitschko. He's got a win over Charles Martin. Right? Like, it's not a bad resume. It's just not a great resume. And, you know, um, the, the, the expectations were much higher coming out of, um, you know, turning pro back in it was 2012 when he was he was given uh, the gold medal um, over Robert uh, Camarella. When Camarella beat him, they, they gave uh, Joshua the gold medal because it was it was in London. So they gave it to the countrymen and uh, stole it from the Italian. Um, and then that's fine. It is what it is. But, you know, so he was he was gifted that. And after he was gifted the gold medal, I, everyone, like, had these high expectations of him. And, you know, I, I don't want to say he didn't live up to him, right? Because he's had a good run. He's, he's been a good heavyweight champion. He's been a fighting champion. I, I don't think he's ducked and dodged anyone. He, he lost to Reese, went right back out for him again. Uh, lost to Usyk, went right back out and fought Usyk again. Like, I, I, I generally like Joshua. I think he's a good spokesman for the heavyweight division. Like, he's a good heavyweight champion. He's just not a great heavyweight champion in a, in a great heavyweight era. It really is. Um, you know, during the Klitschko era, we had to dead, had to dead. No, it was just taking a nap. Like, the heavyweight division is good. And now we got new guys coming on. So where does Joshua go next? The Fury fight would be big. He's not going to win that fight. You know, um, you want to fight Dillian? You want him to fight Dillian White again? It's a possibility. Is is is, is White going to fight again? You know, uh, I'm trying, who can he beat in, in the heavyweight division? Right, like um, he can beat a lot of guys. Could a Wilder fight get made? Wilder says he's a free agent. I I, I think like those are the fights. Like he's not gonna. He could fight Fury. If he does, he's going to lose. Right? He's not going to fight Usyk again. So that takes him out of the heavyweight, the heavyweight title picture. Could he fight Wilder? Is that you know? I think it would still be a big money fight. Would he fight um, Dillian White? You know, um, who who do you want to see him fight next? You know. You look at the names, and he can still be. Like, I'll, I'll just pull up BoxRec, right? BoxRec has him. Still has the third best heavyweight, which is unbelievable. Um, Tyson Fury, no. Usyk, no. Andy Ruiz, mm. Joe Joyce. I, I, I know that's a cross promotional thing. Dubois is just cross promotional things, but do you think you can work that out? Could he beat Joe Joyce or Daniel Dubois? That's interesting. I would like to see that. I know that's cross promotional. But could he beat those guys? I, I would like to see him try, honestly. Um, you know, Chisora, Pulev, I, I'm not interested in any of that. You know, Jared Anderson, he's not going to take that fight. Although I think Jared Anderson, Frank Sanchez would beat him. I'm just going through these names. Gassiev. I was a big Gassiev guy uh, back in 2018 when he beat Dortikos. Um, and then lost to Usyk, and, and that was you know five years ago, and he was 24. And and in the interim, he's done absolutely nothing. I mean, you look at what he's done in the last five years, man. 15 months off Nuri Safari, came back seven months later. Michael Wallish, right? Then took a 13 months off. Carousel Welsh. Uh, Dang it, Gassiev. Dang it. <laughs> um, those are the names I'm, I'm looking at. He can beat most of those guys, right? But, I mean, Dubois and Joe George are fights I'd like to see. I think those would be interesting fights. It, it, it's tough right now in the heavyweight division, 
right? Because he's not one of the best guys, but he's still good, and he's with, with everything he's got, he's still a draw. So the performance was okay, right? Like it, it was what I think we can expect from Anthony Joshua at this point. He's going to box from the outside. He's going to he's, he's got a, a good jab. He can do some decent work on the inside, but where the inside is where you want to get him, um, and. That's kind of what he is. He's not going to beat the top guys, but he's going to beat everyone else. And, you know, everyone's saying that it's a terrible performance and Derek James has a lot to work to do. I mean, Derek James does have a lot of work to do. I, I, I'm not saying James did a bad job by any stretch. I think he did a fine job. But this is just what Joshua is. The Joshua that we saw destroying people, Charles Martin and those guys back in the day, that, that, that guy's gone. Gone. He ain't coming back. Andy Ruiz killed that guy. Um, but he's still a pretty good heavyweight. Um, you know, there, there's a lot to like. You know, he's big, strong. I, I still think he's got power, although we're not seeing the knockouts. You know, we're not seeing knockouts. The last big knockout we saw was uh, Pulev. I still think it's something there. You know, and and in a weaker era, this guy could get to a heavyweight title. It's just the wrong era. It's the wrong guy. You know, he's got. I think two guys who are probably top ten heavyweights of all time in Usyk. You know, I know Usyk doesn't have the resume to put him in the top ten. I understand. Do I think there are 10 guys in the history of the heavyweight division who are better than Usyk? No. And there's not 10 better than Fury. So that's just the era that he's in. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Kits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. It is April 1st, 2023. Uh, it's actually April 2nd, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.